Creality recently released the Ender 3 S1, but who the heck is this thing really for and who the heck should buy it? Today, we're gonna find out. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. In the last couple years, Creality has put out just a ton of 3D printers. But that doesn't mean the community needs every single printer that Creality puts out. Actually, I think it hurts the community sometimes because someone gets excited, buys a brand new printer that's just released, and then a couple months later, Creality releases another one that's supposed to be better. But is that better if the purchaser is upset? This brings us to the Creality Ender 3. This is supposed to be a better version of the Ender 3 and the Ender 3 V2 before it. But is it? Let's start with the assembly. It is very straightforward. They say it's only six steps to do, and that is much faster and much easier than the original Ender 3. It features a new Sprite direct drive extruder, which Creality says is 30% lighter than the standard hot end assembly. The CR Touch auto bed leveling system comes with 16 pro points right out of the box. In the back, we have a dual motor, dual Z setup with belt synchronization that keeps both sides of the gantry level while it's moving up and down. The build surface is a magnetic spring steel sheet with a PC coating on it. This allows you to pop it off, flex it to get your model free, and then just pop it back on when you're done. This is the first printer I have that features the USB-C port right here. It also has a full-size SD card and a 32-bit board, and it's a silent board, and they say it prints at less than 50 decibels from a half meter away. The 4.3 inch screen features a brand new interface. It is not touch screen, it uses the control knob to control it, and the screen dims after five minutes to help save power. It features a filament runout sensor to help detect if the filament breaks or runs out, and this will help prevent failed prints. Last but not least, it features these easy belt tensioners to help with getting that perfect belt tension. All of this stuff is great, and on paper, this is the best Ender 3 that Creality's ever put out. But is it right for you? You see, this is my original Creality Ender 3. I have put a ton of upgrades and time into this printer, and as you saw in the beginning videos of this channel, this was the one that was featured. This is how it all started. If you look at the new Ender 3 S1, you may notice that it comes with many of the upgrades that I installed on my original one. That means less time upgrading and more time printing. But is that what you want? Many of us love the time spent upgrading our Enders, myself included. We can get them pretty cheap and build them to be whatever we want. This is why I think the Ender 3 S1 could be the best and worst Ender 3 that Creality has ever made. The best because out of the box, it comes loaded with all the popular features we look for in a great printer. And on top of that, it prints really good. The worst because it has mostly all of the parts that we would upgrade the original with. And some people just want to do it themselves. This is where you come in. If you're looking for a 3D printer that's easy to set up, has all the bells and whistles out of the box and is just ready to go, definitely I suggest the Ender 3 S1. But if you're looking for a printer that you can get pretty cheap now and put your time and upgrades in it to make it anything you want, then I suggest you stick with the Ender 3 Pro, the original, the OG. But let me know in the comments what you prefer. Do you prefer something that's ready to go out of the box or something that you can play with, something that prints good, but you can make it anything you want because it doesn't already come with all the upgrades this one does. If you wanna see something maybe between these two, check out this video right here and keep it moving. And if you like what you saw today, please give me that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one with more great content.